Yes, Urholin is an 8 and 0 welterweight born and fighting out of Pori, Finland with team East Front and Marco Huntanen. Six stoppages for the 32 year old, all on the mat and four inside round one. The Finn competed in Jiu Jitsu all over the world, winning IBJJF Europe and the ADCC trials, also meddling in the world IBJJF multiple times over. He's rising through Cage Warriors as we speak and soon you might see him in a UFC octagon. Let's venture up north to Finland in 2019. Yes, he is competing at a catchweight 176 pounds in the region's largest promotion, Cage. He's up against 2-0 Husnadin Ganiev, who has stopped both of his wins in round one. The Uzbek fights out of St. Petersburg now and usually competes up at middleweight. Opening seconds, Urhalin showing many feints, then shoots. Misdirection made the takedown look easy. One minute later, yes, he has the back, and look at this control he keeps. Falling off the back while grounding and pounding, but that wrist ride on the left side keeping him in command. Seconds later, with the trip, gets opponent back down where they started. Minute and change later, ground strikes while working through the guard. He settles into a modified half guard with the knee on belly, gets the grip for an arm triangle, and moments later, opponent is dreaming. Incredible submission victory for Jesse Urhalin, his fourth win overall and second by choke. Not often you see an arm triangle finish on the opposite side, that takes a tremendous squeeze. We saw Islam Mahachev hit that against Drew Dober recently, and this looks eerily similar, although Dober did not go night night. Next bout is Urhalin's third and final in 2019. Add 170 pounds to face 7 and 1 Tamaz Tazo Borchorishvili. The Georgian has not lost since his first fight, and all seven victories have been submissions. Early going opponent charges with a left, switches stance in that combo, then into the clinch with another left. Jesse turns him around and down with a quick trip. 30 seconds later, working from half guard with the Dagestani handcuff, just like last fight. Yesi is lighting him up like a Christmas tree, the mullet flowing all over, and Bachorishvili has had enough. Fourth first round finish in a row for Yesi Urhalin. Eerily similar strategy to get to the stoppage from last bout. The Finn is dangerous just from half guard. All three TKOs on his record have come on the ground. It'll be interesting to see his striking in a longer fight. Urhalin took home his first decision win just before COVID hit. Now we're in England with Cage Warriors in 2021. 6-0 Yesi versus 10-6-1 Aaron King Khalid. The Cardiff Wales product has been battling tough competition since 2016, competing in Britain's top promotion for five years. Round one, Khalid is high stepping. Well time left from Urhalin, then starts work on a takedown. Yes, he gets around opponent's legs and off balances him down to the mat. Looks like Khalid wanted some sort of hip toss there, just got out grappled. Minute later, Yesi trying to take the back, but can't get the right leg hook. Khalid, good work turning back inside. Now opponent able to muscle back to standing, but only for a moment, down for the rest of the round. Second frame here, Urhalin flashes the hands, opens up the kick, then Khalid answers. Yes, he comes back this time, kick to the head, and it scores the knockdown. Ground and pound, but opponent able to break down Jesse's posture. End of two, the Finn has an arm triangle choke, but can't find the squeeze. We already know he doesn't have to be on the right side to submit, but time runs out here. Round three, another fast start. Combo from Urhalin, then Khalid comes back with his kicks. Yes, he tries to catch one in the single leg attempt. Opponent goes for the guillotine, but probably should have just focused on defense. Final minute of the fight, yes, he has another arm triangle opportunity. He's like Sacagawea down there, he knows all the routes. Khalid doing all he can to hold him in half guard. Hard to finish that choke when the hips are elevated. 
Second straight decision victory for Yessi Urhalin, going the distance, not going for speed tonight, unlike his first five wins. Not getting the stoppages like he's used to, but still scoring many sub attempts, taking opponents to dangerous waters, and still looking full of stamina while doing it. Last time out for Yessi from October 2021, challenging the Greek Emperor, John aka Ioannis Paliogos. Record of 18-9-1 for the 34-year-old. Only two years older than Yessi, but miles more experience in the MMA cage. Right off the bat, Yessi's on that single leg like a shark. Paliologos fighting hard to stay up, but gets taken down momentarily. Then back up for a second, just to get spun right back down by that body lock. Three ticks later, another single leg. This is third takedown of the round. Dominating as usual from half guard. Onto the second frame. Urhalin downing with the double, but opponent gets a switch with the left arm. Scramble ensues, Paliogos wants a Kimura, while Yessi attacks that single, and the Finn wins this time. Three minutes later, opening a can of whoop-ass from side control. Threat of the armbar, couple with elbows and punches are a recipe for disaster for Paliogos, and seconds later, he can taste the fresh L. Yessi Urhalin takes the fight to round two, but finishes it in that frame for the second time. He gets back on the stoppage grind with his sixth stop in eight wins overall. The Finn was capital D decorated in BJJ medals both Gi and No Gi before turning to MMA. So far, no opponent has had anything to trouble him on the mat. The striking has hardly been seen because no one can stay standing long enough to test him. Yessi Urhalin could be the next great MMA grappler, and I'll be watching every time he steps into that cage. <laughs>